Well, that's not fair at all. Uh, g'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags, and as per the end of our last video, or at least if I've edited this correctly and in the order I was expecting to, we've just been intercepted by another group of Soviet submarines. Now these aren't our target. Now we're intercepted at five knots, so they shouldn't be able to hear us, but we have spawned between two contacts, and one is uncomfortably close. It's not even reading close to being a submarine. What the hell is this? It's got the sound. Nothing out on the high range. I think that's a high range anyway. Oh, ooh, 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 no, that'll be the low. I think. Yep, 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 yep. Blue whale. Biologic. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. We'll designate Come that one. Sierra one is classified as cool. So Sierra 2 is likely no our line. real target. And that ping was not from Come Sierra 2. New contact bearing zero, shit, five, shit, zero, torpedo, zero, torpedo, eight. torpedo. Uh, crap. Alright, depth, we've got over a thousand feet available. That'll get us under the thermal. Ah! Torpedo away. Sierra 3, type 209. German diesel electric, you sneaky little shits. No wonder you. Oh, it's a trawler to the north. Okay. Um. You sneaky little shits. Where did you go? Getting a return. Okay. Torpedo is lined. Con sonar regain contact on zero three. There it is. Zero six eight. That's nine point two kilo yards. Beginning to turn and its top speed's 22.5 knots. So, alright, you can't outrun this torpedo. This thing's gonna pick it up regardless. Now. So, kinda eerie that I cannot see their torpedoes on my attack view at all. shouldn't be doing that. I'm actually kind of cheating, looking for the uh, the marks in the water, and it actually looks like that wasn't one torpedo launch. That looks like three, because that's five cavitations in the water. Six now. Um, five cavitations in the water over there. The closest one's my torpedo. The furthest one is the submarine disengaging, and that leaves three. So that's three torpedoes fired, not one. I really should look and see if I can get the visual mod, the visual restriction mod, away, because that's that's is always the one thing that's bugged me. I'm fine with the 3D view, completely fine. Um, I like the fact that ships and submarines do not show up on it until they've been identified to uh, above 90%. But torpedoes always appear. Okay. Should take us right down the bottom, and that should. Yeah, 
one torpedo on attack view now. And that should pass over the top and not detect us at all. And there is the other two. Alright, Sierra 3 is crapping countermeasures all over the place. I just want to make sure I cut underneath these torpedoes enough here. 41 knots, we'll get underneath them. Whoa. Alright, first one activated right on top of us. cross underneath these two. The sooner I can go back and listen, see if we can find another one of these things out here. It's the, the thing I do like about this mod is the new submarines that come in are really interesting to deal with and some of them are incredibly stealthy. This thing, that's embarrassing to be that close and have it fire its torpedoes and the torpedo is the first indication. We hear the torpedo before we ever hear it and it's right there. go. Alright, so, clear of the torpedoes. Still only getting active pings from the 209 though. We go 209 is down beautiful that was a reasonably good ambush actually yeah, the biggest weakness of the diesel electrics is once they're detected um, most of them not all but most of them are particularly fast so once you've actually got them detected it's uh, relatively easy to deal with them. Mostly. Alright, so area complete. Only the single 209 in there. Still have 17 torpedoes left on board. So we are doing okay, but it's time to get back and see whether or not we can find that surface fleet. This was not your objective of your current mission orders. Yes, I know it wasn't. But if they're going to intercept me and shoot at me, they're going to intercept and shoot at me. Alright, let's see whether or not you are our target. Alright, so our depth is 50 feet, 5 knots, so they shouldn't have heard us coming. We've got a thermal layer at 228 feet, strong surface duct, that's good, we'll need that. Uh, let's shrink it down to 15. Status report, where are we at? Yep, we're loaded, we're good. Close to. Sonar, new contact bearing, two, zero, seven, designated Sierra, one. Con sonar, new contact bearing, two, zero, okay. seven, designated Sierra, two. So. Con sonar, new contact bearing, two, five, five, designated Sierra, three. Signature Sierra, three. Sierra 1. Let's go for Sierra 1 first. Let's go all the way from the start just to make sure we're not looking at a sub. I don't think we are. That's a Nox. Yeah, I don't think any of these will be subs. Hopefully. Conditions. Let's 
Let's go to 300 feet and put ourselves below the thermal layer. It'll buy us a little bit of time to identify and work out what our targets are here. Now, our primary objective here is to hunt down two capital ships, so... Just had that one too. Alright. We haven't good, good, good enough signal on any of these. Alright, we're going to have to go back above the thermal layer because we can't hear them from down here. We're going to have to go back to 200. This is slightly tricky. What is, what is, what is, what is our range? 14. Yeah, it's not that close. Zero one is false. It's on that line, but it's down around here. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Solution's only 14%, so that one there's not what it is. Back above, we can hopefully hear it better. There's three. I reckon that was an oil tanker. No, it's too far out. Comsomol. I reckon, I reckon that's a Comsomol. And we've just lost 4-5. Sierra 2 is 62% on you. You're nice and loud. What are you? Oh, hello. We have a modernized Iowa. This is our fleet. 51. This is definitely our fleet. All right, so let's turn. Come right to two, three, two. Come now they're supposed to be two. There's an escort carrier and a battleship. We found the battleship. So Sierra Four or Sierra Five is likely going to be the escort carrier. Sierra 5. The noise is actually making this fairly difficult. Alright, so I give up. I haven't been able to get a good identification on Sierra 4. I just haven't got enough information on it for the moment. But that's alright. I know what the uh, where the Iowa is, Iowa is. I need to take out the Nox. We've got the Perry over here somewhere over here. We don't have a particularly good solution on that. It's only 34%. So what I want to do is 7.3 off the NOx. So if I drop to 300 tube yeah, make sure we're surface running That's all right. Last bearing one nine three contact faded. Go away. Now 
Now it's interesting, I reckon Sierra 4 is probably the escort carrier because we can see the comms small at 77%, we haven't got any exact details on it but that's a big freighter, we've just lost Sierra 4 now but it took a little bit to lose it and it's a bit further out the Iowa is still here and we never lost the contact that we had on it although its solution may have dropped a little and then we've got Sierra 4 over here, which only just dropped, even though it's further out. The louder, larger ships are going to make more noise than the smaller ones, so we lost all the destroyers first. Right, so I can just follow... from the Knox. Perry's over here. I just don't have enough information on the other ships. Yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, it's definitely a Comsomol, so there we go. We've got a good solution on that one, so we know we can discount it. So, yep, not a problem. percent on the Iowa. Now I actually want to keep the depth of this first for a bit. I don't want this to pop up just not right away. Actually now I can go to the surface now, it'll be fine. got a uh... yeah, there is our Iowa quote unquote Iowa right, it's gonna need more than one torp so we'll send a second one down One should be picking up this Nox. There it is. It's got the Nox. Now the Iowa here is going to try and run. That would pitch up. But again, our torpedoes should be sitting below the thermal layer, so they should only just have popped up if they can hear them at all. Only this one, or well, with this one being the only one they can actually hear at this point. So I'm expecting to see countermeasures hit the water any second. Yeah, Iowa is turning away. So I am going to adjust these courses ahead because maybe not that much. I just want to keep them moving along. countermeasures. That's definitely a helicopter near us as well. Okay, so that's cool. Nice. Alright, 
so that's one down. Reasonably good stealth attack here. We haven't been detected, which is a definite improvement on our uh, our last effort with the, uh, the little German sub. S4 is still coming in. The Perrys. Starting to get involved now. Okay. We might be missing a ship here. There is no way known that uh, that an escort carrier would continue pushing into the fight like this. And there should be far more helicopters than we're hearing at the moment. Right, I'm going to short activate these. That should hopefully have them accelerate and come to the surface. At this point, they should be close enough to pick up the Iowa, or bloody close to it. And I'll just uh, give them a little bit of manual encouragement to head in the right direction. I just need them to speed up, because Iowa can do 32 knots, so she can drag these torpedoes out for a while, and the torpedoes are not running at full speed while they're coming in like this. First one is active. Switch to second torpedo. Again, I can hit the key down here to activate this, but as I've said in the past, I like to do everything that I can with mouse on screen so you can actually see it happening, rather than me pressing binds down here outside of maneuvering the submarine, and that's just because, you know, when you're doing torpedo beats, it's got to be reasonably quick. This is going to be a relatively long and stealthy attack here, too. Okay, so the torpedoes up, uh, up and running. Just going to make sure... We might have to actually adjust them a little bit here. I want to make sure they pick up the Iowa and not the Perry. The Perry is going to come looking for me. So I don't need to have torpedoes chasing down the Perry. That's fine. I will get torpedoes on her soon enough. Now, you. What the hell are you? You're a Nox. I'm missing a ship. There are supposed to be two capital ships in this. I'm sure of it. Uh, fortunately, I can't check the um, can't check the briefing until after. Nope, I got it wrong. It's a sprue. Okay. Still gonna have to kill it. Let's just do a slight course change here. Let's point the nose at him. Alright, first torpedo is about to acquire the Iowa. Gun, fire control, weapon acquired. Boom. Second weapon will acquire in a few more seconds. No! Ah, that's what I was worried about. No. No. You. I'm not going to acquire that one. I'm going to acquire that one. Much closer than I thought. And the eye was 
up to speed now. Right, there we go. Both torpedoes are acquired, so let's... Uh, let's give some people some more headaches. The torpedo in the water, tube 4, is now out, and we're going to go for tube 6 as well. Yes, I'm pretty sure Alpha's got four wires. We've got three torpedoes out, so... Tube 6 away, okay. These are going to go out for the sprue because she's the one that's the biggest risk of actually taking us out at this point. We can deal with the Perry later. And I need the sprue gone because I need to get to the surface and actually pop the radar and have a look at what's going on around me at the moment. And I need to make sure everything else is gone when I do that. As I said, there's supposed to be an escort carrier here somewhere. And we haven't picked anything up at all for an escort carrier, so... Turn these. They should still be. Yep, they're still below the layer. So we can keep these torpedoes below the layer and then we'll activate them when they get out here coming down. Hopefully the sprue will counter fire in this direction. She's getting a little too close for my liking. It's amazing how fast that thing is and how much it's dragging my torpedoes out. They're slowly gaining on it. There they are, they're right there. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So I'm not sure what the Perry's up to, but yeah, she must have been somewhat closer than I thought as the torpedoes went past and we spooked the hell out of her. slowest torpedo attack in history against one of the biggest ships available in the game. Where? Okay. One my location. All right. <sighs> Shit. Not a lot of time. Not a lot of time. All right. Set depth. What am I doing? Everything down. Somebody worked out where I was. And I'm gonna break the wires. That's alright, the torpedoes will arm. Can't turn in. Yep, that was gonna happen. We lost all the wires. But we're fine. Wonder who managed to detect us. Somebody's a sneaky shit, because that come from a direction where no torpedo should have come from. Oh 
almost ran out of bottom there. Eighteen hundred even. All right, the sprue is maneuvering. Back to throw it off. All right, and it will make its turn back. There it comes again, and knuckle again. Not ideal, but let's. No, 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 no. Let's not climb just yet, or not surface just yet. Come on, do the wide turn. Whoa, shit. Scare the crap out of me there. Countermeasure, throw it off. That one didn't have a lot of juice in it. That torpedo has been in the water for a while. That might have been a counterfire from... Ah, yes, I think I know what that was. That was... They didn't know where I was. We got the sprue, nice. Um, that was a counterfire from the Perry from down here before. She... It's like 300. Yeah, that was a counterfire from the Perry when we almost got it before, and it looks like the aisle is getting away. So we can't afford to mess around with this. I need to take out the Perry and then get after the Iowa and try and find the, uh... She must have eaten two torpedoes. Hopefully she's, hopefully she's not running. goes. Oh, there she is. Seeing as she wasn't going to let us view her. Yeah, boom, boom. Two, put her on the bottom. Alright, still not the ships that we're after here, though. So... I, just, I keep thinking whenever I see things like the Komsomol or, you know, civilian traffic that obviously aren't targets operating in the area, could you imagine the view from them just looking out the back of your ship and there's this massive fleet, you know, military ships sailing past and you've just been let go, you're probably nervous about being boarded, everything, you know, because, you know, you never know, they, they, they may not be friendly or they may want your cargo, you know, it's wartime, stuff's happened. Maybe they think you're shipping stuff, doesn't matter. And then suddenly their ships just start exploding. Everybody starts going evasive, the ships are doing all wild things on the surface and they're just exploding and you're just continuing to sail away. I mean there would have been merchant traffic in fleets in World War II that experienced just that. Just somebody out on the deck having a smoke, um, you know, watching the rest of the fleet as they're heading in and then somewhere in the fleet a ship just explodes as it's been hit by torpedoes from a U-boat. All right, so we are at 300. And I want a much better look at what's going on now. So I am going to go to 200. We're going to bring it up above the layout. That, well, that should help. We're still at silent running, so hopefully they won't pick us up at all.
what are you doing? Three Comsomol is still where it's supposed to be. We're reading 58 on the Perry at this point. No speed data on the Iowa. 63 on the Perry, and I reckon she's very close to where she appears to be. So let's turn on the Perry. The sooner we can pop her, the sooner we can move on, or move to the surface, pop our radar and see if we can find out where the hell the missing shipping is. Or whether or not, for some reason, we only got the battleship, rather than getting the escort carrier as well. I don't know why that would have happened, but it could have. 83, yeah, I'm confident enough to fire a shot. No, I'm not. Change depth. Go to 300. 4.2. She is close and heading directly for us. Nah, screw that. Short activation. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, helm, steady course. Oh, no, you don't. You're not disappearing on me. Active ping. Bring her back, please. Periscope depth. Look at that nice grouping. Nice little grouping there. Just created a little kill zone right here. Alright, let's set for Iowa and increase speed to 10 knots. the speed she was moving before. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Yep, I'm sure we are. Actually, yeah, it's probably an idea pull back down. Helicopters could be involved here, so let's not cavitate. Alright, so I'm actually not going to go with the periscope this time. We're going to pop the radar mast. I just want to have a look and see what is actually floating about up here. That's probably the best bet. My depth is at 35 feet. Radar mask is up. Alright, so we got a trawler. The Comsomol. We never detected that trawler. And the Iowa is 13 knots. 13 knots and that's it. So she's taken big engine damage. So look here. Oh yeah, she's burning. She's still floating. But she's on fire. Now look at that, look at that smoke. It's almost like the Admiral because it's on. Actually, she's in this game. She she should be playing the role of the escort carrier. 
All right, so let's pull that radar mast down. Yes, I'm aware I messed up the pronunciation there. It looks like Iowa picked up the radar and she is turning for a fight. She's brave, but foolish. 41. Set depth 500. No point in being quiet now, after we've popped the radar, she knows exactly where we are. But she has no escort, she's already burning and she's one torpedo off, way off joining everybody else on the bottom, so... And it looks like there's nothing else around the area, so we only got the battleship. I was expecting an escort carrier to go with it, unless we've got to hunt down a second target. Or unless we lucked out on picking a fleet that actually got a capital ship but it wasn't actually the target for the mission. I, I don't know yet. We'll have to find out exactly what goes on once we've actually completed it. Yep, there's helicopters. I knew they'd be coming. Not really all that concerned. If they drop torps, I might actually try and kite the torps onto uh, onto Iowa as well to save me from firing anymore. And here, and they're over the left here somewhere. Should probably see a dipping sonar at some point. Although, if I jump up above the surface, we're not going to see him flying around. Oh, there it is. Just circling about, being a tool. Likely launched off one of the destroyers right before they uh, right before they got sunk, so she hasn't got anywhere to land because I'm pretty sure Iowa doesn't have a pad. I don't think. Won't let it come up. So the question is now, a little bit of time acceleration here, we're going to close the distance up a bit. I'm kind of waiting for a torpedo warning to pop up here. Alright, that's done. Let's go to ultra quiet and let's set depth to 300, uh, 200 rather, we'll go to 200. 300's just below, so we want to go to 200, just pop our heads up so we can actually uh, bleed off this speed. We'll use the speed to breach 200, or breach the thermal layer and actually have a listen to what's above it, see if we can pick out exactly where she is. And we should be close enough now that we won't have to wait a month and a half. Did she run? <laughs> because we haven't got a good signal on it, but we've done that much damage. And it just fires floating on the water. Alright, so we're above the layer. We still cannot hear her properly, but I am going to make the assumption she is still heading in our direction. Torpedo away. That should be the end of it, all things considered. Boop. Straight on course. We'll just use a touch of time acceleration to speed this one up. And... Huh. Should be around here. Gone, there it is. Alright. Active ping. And that should. Boom! Yep, she was heading our way. She's brave. Ah, uh, no, engines failed on her now. The 
damage has reached the point where the engine's failed. She's not moving at all. So if they get a one here. Sure, looks like they most both might have hit exactly the same point. That's gonna matter. Finally put her out of her misery. Alright, so have the aircraft left the area enough? Yes, the helicopters have bugged it off so we can be in combat. Alright, so yes, we have the Knox, the Perry, the Sprue and the Iowa modernised. We've got 10 torpedoes left and we did not miss an escort carrier, there was none there. So was that the actual mission target or not? It was. Now, Tiger K481, Red Banner, Northern Fleet. Mission update, excellent job, Commander. Your neutralization of this high priority target will severely reduce the enemy's ability to hinder our attacks on transatlantic convoys. VFM sends regards to you and your crew. New orders will be sent on, the down on this downlink soon. Okay, so... The original orders stated that there was an escort carrier involved in this as well, but apparently not, so there we go. And it looks like we are being awarded a medal. So cited for extraordinary heroism in action against enemies of the Soviet Union on the 6th of January 1985. His unwavering resolve and self-sacrificing devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. And there was really not much to that one. Alright, so what is our news report going to be? Massive attack. A NATO battle group reported to be operating somewhere in the North Atlantic has come under sudden and severe attack. The Pentagon has confirmed that several ships, including several capital ships, one, we we're expecting two, but only one, succumbed to overwhelming missile strikes. We didn't fire a bloody missile. Fake news. And were lost during the action. Details remain complete, but initial numbers of personnel lost or unaccounted for are high. Surface Task Force Ops too risky. In the light of the recent major defeat, questions have been raised as to whether or not Surface Warfare Group operation can be effectively carried out. Many in Congress are calling for the withdrawal of capital ships from all contested waters, claiming the risks are simply too high. Well, yeah, I'm floating about. Alright, so, our new orders. Uh, intelligence indicates that the enemy plans to reinforce its force at... Often, a convoy of supply ships is believed to be leaving the North Atlantic Convoy Route C soon. You must intercept and destroy this convoy before landing of additional troops and all materials occurs. NavOps is depending on you. No other ships or planes are in a position to intercept in time. We only have... We only have 10 torps. We only have 10 torps. That's alright. That will be our next mission. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. As always, Cold Waters will be returning to the channel very soon as we play through this modded Russian campaign in the Alpha class. Until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.